Uh, nobody likes onions. Uh, who, by the way, is a member. Thank you, buddy. Says you can't go on and on about each other because you're getting divorced. I knew it. I called it. I'm hungry. That is really funny. I you guess should he, see how mean we are to each other off the camera. I guess uh, uh, NLO and uh, Chad Zumach are having a lover's quarrel right now. I wouldn't know. <laughs> it's a battle between the two biggest pieces of worthless what? fat shit in the world. Well, here. And, and what are they going to argue about? Who's a bigger hack? That's going to go on forever. I was going to say, pretend I don't know anything about it, which I don't. That's all I know. Oh, you don't know. I don't know. You any, don't know what started it. I don't anything? know because Kevin Brennan said something Maybe. about it. I only know Maybe because Kevin NLO says shit. brought up to Chad that he still hasn't fucked me this year as he alleged he was going oh, to, which I didn't consent it. to, and uh, he got upset about and it. And then Chad told Patrick, you're so fat, there's no possible way you can see your dick, so don't lie about it, fatso. And then they just started going back and forth, and now they're locked in a doom spiral. Both of them having valid end. points, though. But that's the problem. Like when <laughs> If Chad and Patrick Melton go at each other, there's no yeah. shortage of ammunition they both have for each other. Probably all accurate, too. Right, so that fight will never never end because they're both worthless bags of shit yeah. who are lucky to still be breathing so and by the way their continued existence on this planet is kind of an affront to god because one of them so fat that their organs have to be shutting down on them and the other one is drank enough where his liver shouldn't work anymore so you put Dude, those shouldn't be alive <laughs> you put those two things together yeah like d gulag says it's a hog fight yes and hog fights don't end they're fighting over the trough uh, Bug gifting a membership to Greg Bischoff. Nice. I hope your dad is Eric. That would be wonderful. <laughs> Thank uh, you, Bob. Nobody Likes Onion says, Chad was doxing a listener that I have a crush on. Oh, Ooh. does Patty have a quash? Well, you oh, know, Patty has a school quash. I thought he was married. Oh. <laughs> don't give me that look. I don't know. I don't think if you're 500 <laughs> pounds, you can have a sex drive. I just don't think you can. <laughs> no. Your, all your drive is finding more food to keep that fire burning. You know, if you weigh 500 pounds, there is no fucking way you can A, see your dick, B, get enough of that sludgy, obese blood Ugh. to flow down to your genitals to even get hard. Oh. And even if you got hard, it couldn't get through all the fat and cellulite to poke through to achieve penetration. That ain't cum, baby. That's plaque. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Patrick Melton look, makes Ethan Ralph look like Cindy Crawford. I mean, like this little tiny little stick model. Yeah. Uh, the hog versus the retarded mud shark, says Farva. Fair enough. Uh, all right. We've got so much going on. I just get so excited when I can throw shots at those Here, two. Here, buddy, I'll help you out. Some of the biggest retards I can think of. Yeah. There you go. No, oh, I was what? helping out this crack monkey person. Oh, he doesn't like me? No, he doesn't like me. Oh, well. Put the mute button on your wife. She's boring. She wears wigs. Oh, did you put the mute button on him then? Yeah. Oh, okay. See, that kind of backfired. I helped him out. Uh, Hidden Figures says the facial hair on Melton's face isn't his most obvious beard. <laughs> See, but that's the problem is you could say something equally horrific about Chad Zumok. So those two fighting each other, it will never end. Which one sleeps on a futon? <laughs> in fairness, soaked in, in fairness, Patrick Melton couldn't sit on a futon. It's the airplane seat problem. That's true. It would collapse in on itself. Right. It would be basically the World Trade Centers. It would just go. <laughs> <laughs> Which one was the real tragedy here? Right. Which exactly. One killed more people. Patrick Melton fell at the rate of gravity. Explain how that's possible. I don't know. He's huge like a boulder. I, probably. Oh, uh, no. Pat, uh, pool scam Sam saying Melton comes nacho cheese allegedly. Oh, well then you'd be all for it, right? <laughs> Aaron loves a good nacho cheese. I like queso more. That's why I go to Chad's house. Queso loves some. Uh, I can't say your first name, but loves chiclets. Says Aaron is the goofiest looking white boy I've ever <laughs> seen. That's it's pretty accurate. Um, goofiest looking white boy. I'll take the title. I'll take the title. D. Gulag says, Fatty Melt does have a fruity lisp. Yeah, you know, it's brave that he can actually go out and speak with that kind of disability because he does sound like an utter fruitcake with that awful lisp and he, he gets a high-pitched he gets a high pitch whine to him when anyone criticizes him. He's very funny because he his whole gimmick is, oh, he melts down. Whenever he gets a weird... At least Chad has a gimmick of, oh, he's a complete and utter failure asshole. I don't remember these two until you bring him up to me on the show. And whenever you do bring him up, all I can see is that toothpick arm picture where he's yeah. sitting at the, what is that, blackjack table, poker? Yeah, poker Whatever table. it was, just little toothpicky arms. The little toothpicky arms were embarrassing. 
Uh, Turtle says, Fatty Melt has a crush on every chair he uses. Oh, it's more of a crunch. He prefers crushed it. velvet. <laughs> it's every velvet he touches. <laughs> Hidden Figure says, Melton stood on the strip in Vegas and passersby asked what his room rates were. <laughs> oh, no. That's just mean. Pool Scam Sam says, Aaron Queso Drainer Imholt. Rupert says, if Melton tried to do a push-up, his arms would break under his own body weight. See, now it's just mean-spirited. That's just bullying, really. Ju uh, Ju -E -C <laughs> says, Patrick is hiding his natural gay look behind his obesity, but the lisp gives it away. I, These guys are remarkably accurate. It's true. And, like, it is weird that once you pass a certain point of obesity, you do get that lisp, don't you? It's like there's too much fat on your Patton face. Patton Oswalt, the kind of fat that Patrick is, and you guys can steal this one if you want. Uh, Patton Oswalt calls it B-word fat. Where you're so fat, your B-words have obesity in them. Like you, your B's somehow pop because you're so obese. And like, it's his, because of this his faith is so fat that he actually has a lift from how obese he is. That's well, where that lisp comes from, you, is being so unhealthy. Do you remember when we had that morbidly obese chick on here? The uh, Patrick Melton. No. Oh, sorry. The black one that was like oh. the new spokesperson for Dove and how yes. she talked weird too. Yeah. I really do believe that it's like when the fat gathers on your cheeks here, it just kind of, it, you know, it impacts how your lips move. Oh, no. Hidden figure says Melton fell in love and broke it. <laughs> That's that just... Is so mean-spirited. That is mean. Aaron's very fat face writes, <laughs> how dare you call me a goofy-looking white boy? I didn't do it. They're insulting us, buddy. Uh, Rupert says Patrick Melton could stop a bullet with his body fat alone. He is. He's like that ballistics gel. <laughs> oh, so if, if he was that chick with the gun in her fat folds, he'd have been okay. Uh, Turtle uh, says he prefers red velvet, April. Get oh. it? Because he's a fat <laughs> He prefers red velvet because he's obese. Can I get cream the, cheese yeah, on it? Yeah, I was going to it? say, it's the cream cheese frosting, oh, right? It does Patty? that for everyone, though, doesn't it? I'd eat I the guess. shit out of a red velvet yeah. cake right now. Uh, someone told Patrick it was chilly outside and he ran for a bowl, says Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's That's, too, it's it's too, too easy. It's too easy. That's why we don't really mention it very much. It just gets childish and too easy. Do you want another? Like a guy like that should not talk shit because he's embarrassing and sad. No, to look I at. never understood. Like, look, I get it. There's plenty of like way hotter people out there than you or I. I get it. Not many. Fine, you, <laughs> but I could be surpassed, right? But I'm like, surpassed. even me, if you look like that, you cannot be no. zooming in on me. You look ridiculous. You look crazy. Do you uh, want another beer? I'll take one. Yeah. Dolly's Lama says it impacts... These guys are insulting Patrick still, so I'm going to be a minute. Dolly's Lama says it impacts how your lips move. Yes, it makes you stuff more food in them. See, this is... <laughs> Aaron's very fat face writes, Sorry, my face hurts. It's so fat. It hurts. Uh, Hidden Figures says, Melton has a movie credit, uh, cred uh, credit. Bruce Willis and his team bombed him in space. No... Wait a minute, Hidden Figures, that was a CGI asteroid in Armageddon. See, now that's, it's not even fair. Okay. Uh, Jew EC says, Patrick once missed a stream because he was stuck in the bathtub. See, now this is beneath me. This is beneath me. Buddy Travis says, heard Patrick was also shock absorbers on his toilet of to seat to avoid quakes. Oh. Cast and Blast says, loading crack rock into crack pipe now. Let us know how it goes, my friend. Uh, pool Scam Sam says, my reward to you is a free pool cleaning. Hey, wait a minute. I worried about you. What did I miss? D. Gulag says, I'm 128 pounds and my arms are bigger than Melton's. See, well, now this is same in, here though. That's that's exactly where I'm at. A little lighter though. By the way, he has still not. Uh, I said yes to Alex's uh, arrangement, and uh, Patrick is still running scared. That's the update. Why? Because uh, I, mean, I, dude, I, a man of that mass uh, has to crush you, I right? Would crucify All he has to do is man. sit on you. I would clown. I think the entire time, and it would probably still end in a knockout. I think you should actually put makeup on. <laughs> yeah, I would actually makeup. wear makeup, and <clears throat> here's how bad it would be. It would still be intact. That when makeup you're done. would be totally fine right. by the time it was over. Actually, you know what? I'd wear the red nose, and the red nose would still be on my face. 
by the time the fight Those was things over. fall off remarkably easy, too. R- they do, really. Uh, Hulk Amasha Baby says, uh, Patrick once captured Princess Leia and had her chained up. See, this is juvenile. <laughs> Melton affects tides. <laughs> Delco Lou says, better watch it. NLO is currently contacting his attorneys, Hagen and Doss, about this fat <laughs> shaming. Oh, the massive Melton affects the pattern of my deers as uh, opti- they move around. Optic Nerve says, Melton looks like two toothpicks stuck in a potato. He does, though. That's what I picture. It is. He looks like a, like, I'm looks sorry, like a dude. stick figure. None of this would be coming for you if you hadn't done this to us. Hidden Figure says, you can't afford to get Melton to Minnesota. Do you know how much it costs to rent a C-130 from the military? <laughs> You, if you were covering his shit though, like you'd have to pay for a whole row in that plane. Uh, like not even a question. Toxic Blood said, who the hell is Melton and why is he supplying cottage cheese from the underside <laughs> of his boobs to starving kids in mini crapolis? Oh my God. Oh, I'm actually sick. <laughs> Wheat Dip says, hey, 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 he's very popular at the beach. <laughs> for shade. Oh, see now that's oh, yeah. Did that have to until come they in? come by in that big truck and they get that big black tarp underneath them and haul him off to the ocean again with the loud beeps. Yeah, beep. That's very beep. sad. And he always oh, had, Melton washed up ashore again. And it's humiliating because he has to yell, "I'm not a whale, you guys! It's me, Patrick again!" And they're like, "All right, this is the last fucking time." <laughs> it's, it's me, Patrick. It's me, Patrick. He just sounds like Patrick Star. Do you guys have a hoagie? He looks like a hoagie guy. Hadouken says Melton was a badass when he was tag team champ with Scotty Tuati. That was Rikishi. And he was in much better shape Rikishi. than Rikishi. Melton was the best part of Ghostbusters. That was the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. He did save the day, though. <laughs> Turtle says uh, Melton makes Frederica Bimmel look slender. Were you about a size 14? 1,400. Oh Dario God. says, I don't know Patrick Melton, so I can't make fun of his morbidly obesity sad sack ass. <laughs> Sounds like you're right on point. KYP Stu, we cannot. I have to delete that one. I love you, buddy. <laughs> but that one is actually, that's actionable right there. I'm helping you. He just went for it. Hidden Figure says, Melton went to a Carrot Top show in Vegas with Zumok. People thought it was a McDonald's promo featuring Grimace, Ronald, and the Hamburglar. <laughs> He is the body shape of Grimace, though. He is the Grimace. And if you keep eating like that, though, you're going to be that color soon. Uh, Hobo Chili Recipe says, you mean the guy Patrick Melton, the guy that has a body like Baloo from Tailspin? Patrick. <gasps> oh, my Producer God. Robert says, where does Melton display the Oscar award he won this year? That was Brendan Fraser for the whale. Very Augustus Gloopy. <laughs> Loaded Wrench says, remember when Melton fell down in New Jersey and the guy yelled, oh, the humanity. That was the Hindenburg. That is not very nice. Remember when Patrick Melton sunk the Titanic? <laughs> oh, my God. Turtle, Turtle says, the only thing that can escape Melton's gravitational pull is a light <laughs> snack. Baked potato chips. <laughs> oh, my fun. God. Do you remember those TGI Friday potato it's skins chips? Oh. Did you eat those? No, because I was always near Patrick Melton. He ate them all. Oh, he ate them all. Cast and Blast says it happened. Melton just ate my cat. Oh, God, that is breaking news. Remember when the earthquake alarm went off at the Garth Brooks concert? They thought it was from the volume. No. Melton was taking a seat. It's Garth Brooks guy. See, I didn't know that. You're a big Garth Brooks guy, yeah. He's a big everything guy. Uh, Hulk of Baby says Melton once jumped in the ocean and sunk New Orleans. See, I thought that was Hurricane Katrina. Aww. I've never been so wrong about anything in all my life. Do you remember when that ship got stuck in the Suez Canal and everyone said it was a ship stuck in the Suez yeah, Canal? Yeah, no, it wasn't. Was Patrick Melton. It was Patrick Melton? Oh, yeah. he stopped international trade for a long period of time. Yes, he did. He cost the economy billions of dollars. <laughs> That's terrible. You know that one... Melton killed the dinosaurs. You know, everyone thought that that one planet that was shamed into not being a planet anymore was Pluto. It was actually Patrick Melton. It was Melton. Oh, okay. That's why they had to say it wasn't a planet. They found out it was human. (laughs) Just floating around space. (laughs) Taste Fairy just writes, Melton's fat. Yeah, I think that's what we're trying (laughs) to get at. What? Oh. You know, I yeah, I might have a, a five head going on here, but like I don't have high blood pressure. So. 
he can't be healthy. No, Kevin Brennan is made. No, I'm very, actually very fit. I felt like a fucking tank today. Actually, uh, Kevin Brennan has uh, uh has said this many times. Mm-hmm. This is where I get any of my intel is from uh, old KB. Kevin Brennan clarified that uh, Patrick Melton does not have health insurance. You talk about playing Russian roulette. Patrick Melton, if he had insurance and literally spun a revolver every day with one bullet in it and put it under his chin and pulled the trigger, it would be safer than a guy who's 500 pounds living without health insurance. I think you do need health insurance, dude. Yeah. Like, even I have health insurance. Paul R. Nelson says, Melton put more restaurants out of business than COVID. Well, I mean, he shouldn't have never dined and dashed. Uh, Jericho says, does Melton have a beard or is that a spice rub? (laughs) Hobo Chili Recipe That's calling a Melton a slump buster. Oh, no. No. Oh. No, nobody's busting slumps on him. What are you talking oh. about? Unless a slump is what you call a rack of ribs, <laughs> then he is a slump buster. You went, somebody went hogging that night? Oh, yeah. <laughs> D. Gulag says, never forget, Melton fell into the Twin Towers. Yeah, we, we bombed a bunch of Arabs for it. <laughs> Whereas he just went on stage and bombed until he couldn't get comedy gigs anymore. Stop it. My cheeks hurt. Kelly Berger says Melton is a human puffer fish who only inflates when he says something cringe. And by cringe, I mean retarded. Is that why the cheeks are like that? Uh, nobody likes onions, writes. All right, that's enough. I tried hanging myself already, but the damn chain broke. Farva says Miley Cyrus wrote Melton in a music video. That is an insult to wrecking balls. They are not that heavy. <laughs> that is mean. They're not even that big. Oh, <laughs> loaded wrench says Melton is always tilted at 23 degrees. That's, that's the move. Or a planet. John Hahn says Melton is the result of putting the big show and chunk from Goonies into the fly chambers and putting them together. Uh, Gray Idol says, I say it's win if Melton doesn't have shelf insurance. Oh, my God. All right, guys. Now we're just mean. I think this has gotten very mean spirited. <laughs> Uh, Tin Man, Tin the Tool Man Taylor says, "Put Aaron and Patrick in a room together and put a bowl of queso between them. Who would win? Him just inhaling would just bring it naturally towards him. The gravitational pull. Yeah, I can't beat his gravitational pull. I'm literally half his size. Yeah, no, that's not a joke at I all. I weigh about two hundred, anywhere from two fifteen to two twenty five. Just depend on though, what kind of day I'm I think. having. No, I think he's six four, six five. Ew." And I you're am, that heavy? I am half his size. Ooh, that is not easy for that heart to be pumping around that he, body. He weighs about 500 pounds. That is almost four of me. I'm what less, am I? I'm 125 today. I'm a little fat. I'm less than half his size. That's an embarrassing guy. Oh, my God. Uh, hidden figures. Now they're just doing high school jokes. What do you call Melton doing hula hoop? Saturn. That's... Oh, uh... Uh, Joe, he's Joe, four of me. Yeah. Jew EC says Patrick is so fat. His home alone attire is a beach towel and compression socks. <laughs> Actually, I have a. Um, do you know people wear compression socks on airplanes? By the way, that makes me nervous that I'm do. doing something wrong. I actually have a Patrick Melton uh, performance. He was actually in a commercial yeah. once. People don't know this. But Patrick Melton was 100% in a commercial, oh, and I uh, have it here. Uh, don't tell anybody. No, I'm not. But I have a commercial that Patrick Melton was in, and I want to give him his credits because I feel like we've been this ins- one. yeah we've been insulting him a lot today. I want to give him his credit. I want to play uh, Patrick Melton, and this is a 2023 commercial. So it's new. Okay. So Patrick has been getting work. It's not like he's a hack like us who's you know just rattling a can on the internet. I like to see a man get work. And the guy can sing too. Let's uh, let's check it out. I have type two diabetes, but I manage it well. It's a little pill with a big story to tell. I take one daily jardians. Wait, but he has dance moves. He dances well. <laughs> he, he looks good in blue. He did a really good job. I don't have that uh, drop anymore, unfortunately. No, do the... the other- uh, Cast and Blast says, Melton needs a number eight steel beam to support his load when he performs autoerotic asphyxiation. <laughs> Jericho says, surely he's not actually 500 pounds. You'd never stop sweating. Um, uh, who says he doesn't stop sweating? Who says he does stop sweating? I have no idea what he weighs. Uh, a Melton anagram is no melt, which doesn't mean anything. He is fat, says Alex. Hobo Chili Recipe says, so he's a Puerto Rican day parade float. Oh, my God. Uh, he's way past Jardians, says Delco Lou. 
Melton was in the Olympics. Oh, I meant Ozempic. <laughs> See, now that's not. Chino Bisconti goes, wait, that's <laughs> not him. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I, I, I told a fib. I fibbed a little. Please do the other ad that he's in, sir. For yes, me. Yes, ma'am. Here's uh We're in overtime. Here, we've got uh this is uh April's uh pick. This, this is, is actually Oh yeah, he did do you're right, he did do another commercial. How dare uh, you forgive me. Thank you. Uh this was Patrick Melton doing a commercial for health advocacy. This is very good of him. Like I said, he's a better person than we are. Here we are. If you have diabetes and you're on Medicare. You may qualify for a free meter from Liberty Medical. But that's Medical. not the star. If you have type 2 diabetes like I have, you're confronted with choices. You can choose to feel sorry for... Take the gun. Take the gun. That's the choice. Just, it's a, it's a cock back and a pull. That's Ooh. all it is. Let the man talk. You know, give sorry, him a chance. Patrick. Sorry, Patrick. For yourself. I hope you don't. I hope you choose to get involved with a good doctor. This is actually Patrick Melton 10 years and 160 pounds ago. Believe it or not. Find out some things about diabetes and your own body in the bargain. You'll learn to check your own blood sugar and check it often. That, along with a simple diet and exercise program, can help keep your diabetes under control. Okay, so that, all right. So he's done, he's done multiple he commercials. Good back then. He did. He looked a lot better then. He's looking a lot more haggard and beat up and fatter now. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Loaded wrench says the lint in Melton's belly button says my pillow. That's Barry Bostwick just says Mel Ton. Mel Ton. Mel Ton, of course, <laughs> yes. Uh nobody likes onions with 199 says it takes me two trips to haul ass. <laughs> Thank you. Do, uh, Doogie Hauser said Melton was afraid in Starship Troopers. Oh my god. All right. I guys. heard he was actually an extra in the movie Spaceballs. Oh, was he really? His name is Barf. Oh, poor Barf. Uh, apologize to John Candy. That's that's mean spirited. A little bit. Uh, Aryan Privilege says Avian TB cancer diabetic not type two sick it. All right. <laughs> what? Thank you very much. That added a uh, lot. It was very cool. That was the best I've ever heard. <laughs> Melton eats food served on a pallet. Yeah, he hears a forklift going beep, beep. That's his dinner bell. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, the Patrick Melton dinner bell is a forklift bringing down the uh, pallets oh. so he can feed. I want it to be on a conveyor belt. Like, I want there to be endless trays for and he him. Is, oh, 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 oh. It's like Pac-Man. <laughs> Fat man. Yes. Oh my God. Joey C says nobody likes onions is an ironic channel name since due to <laughs> since diabetes complications, Patrick will end up a vegetable. He probably should like onions, by the way. They clean your blood and he could probably yeah. use that. Maybe that's where he's gone wrong. He bought into the gimmick and it's like, no, yeah. dude, that can help you. I should have, yeah, could have helped. Too right. late now. He went to a Japanese all you can eat buffet and the entire staff committed <laughs> seppuku, says Scott Shelley. <laughs> this is um, <laughs> it's not uh, not funny. He was great as Sherman Clump in The Nutty Professor, though. He did a really good job in that one. Oh. He's a good actor. He's a good actor. Uh, real good in the movie Norbit, too. Oh, just the best in that one. <laughs> Take old bitties. All right, guys, I think we can move on. Can we? Mel Melton got charged with bigamy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Dolly's Lama said he heard the entire staff committed seppuku and he says, I'll have that, please. And we went, yes, dude, even the cows being butchered for the steaks. It's just they're upset. They're the smaller cows, than he is. Before they cut their throat, the cows go, don't feed me to Patrick Melton. I deserve better. Give me to some pretty hot I'll, blonde chick. I'll take Zumok. Buddy Travis says, I bet Patrick's family reunion uh, looks like the spaceship people on Wally." -E. Cool Scam Sam says Pepperidge Farm says hell no. He actually played really great robots in um, The Fifth Element, too. Oh, yeah, he was very good in that. <laughs> Alex, uh, this oh, this is a Patrick Melton quote? I didn't know it. Uh, <laughs> there is nothing to fear but an empty buffet itself. <laughs> oh, when all the buffets shut down in Vegas, that had to be devastating. Oh, I bet you. <laughs> oh, He's no. like, oh, what's for breakfast? Lunch and dinner uh, and snacks.
Hidden Figures says Superman flew around Melton to turn back time. <laughs> no. Loaded Wrench says Lizzo points at Melton. Oh my God. She's one of his moons, actually. <laughs> People don't believe that. Semper Reloaded says, I like it when Patrick Melton says, Hercules, 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 Hercules. <laughs> It's too oh, easy. Oh, shit. It's too easy. It's hard to leave this topic now. It is. It's very, very you funny. Know, it just keeps sucking you back in. All because Kevin Brennan said that they're locked in a feud. We don't even not, know what happened. No, Patrick, not a food. That's why he doesn't want to leave. He, <laughs> he thinks he and Chad Zumach are locked in with food. He thinks there's food coming. Oh, yeah. no, Patrick, Patrick. No, remember when there's food coming, that beep, beep yeah. will be coming. It, but Patrick, the forklift isn't here yet. All right, relax. Don't forget to check that blood sugar. MLC with Melton. Misery loves calories. Oh. <laughs> Dolly's Lama. That's the night that the buffets went down in Vegas. Misery loves cholesterol. <laughs> uh, Hobo Chili Recipe says he was the stunt double for Raspu Raspucia in Norbit. He did fantastic blackface with chocolate pudding. Oh, I like this one. That's no moon. That's Patrick Melton. <laughs> <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt says, I found Melton hugging a tree in a forest fire as a young child. Oh. Uh, Erica Transpatrick. Oh, Melton. Uh, I'm sorry. Toxic blood. Melton, the only man to lube up a 78 Buick coupe with butter and Crisco to squeeze in and have a snack for the ride. Oh, all. he's had all of his apartment doors widened disability style. Uh, Erica Pant uh, Transpatrick says, Sweet Jesus, I just watched six minutes of Patrick Melton's stand-up. The video had 1.4 million views from four months ago. Dropped a follow-up video from Patrick a month later. 655 views. Yeah, somebody oh. bought a few views for their, uh, for their YouTube thing. Uh, or oh. people checked him out the first time and then decided never again. That could be it, too. KYP Stu says, uh, Breaking news, Melton has climbed the Empire mm. State Building again. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, I heard he was in a fight with Mothra in the ocean, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have uh, Buddy Travis says, I found Melton's first movie. All right, let's uh, take a look. Come on, friend. You want to get in shape, you got to move, man. I told him you got to move. Gotta move. <laughs> oh, no, Patrick. Fred Dukes? That looks like the creature that ate Fred Dukes. Hey, be nice. <laughs> hey, Pat, Fred, um... Oh, that does. I'm afraid. You know what? Patrick got smaller for that role. I like it when actors can commit to losing weight. That's good. Did we forget about Fat Bastard? Oh, he no. He was we a had, great extra in Austin Powers. Plenty of ammunition. Uh, <laughs> I am Walter quoting Al Bundy. I tell it to your face, but my car only has half a tank of gas. Uh, oddly enough, he uh, tested negative for diabetes. Says that Semper is, Reloaded. That, that you know odd. what? I've never asked for a second opinion medically before. I would ask for one there. You know, Jeffrey Dahmer would have never had to kill again. No, he, <laughs> he would have been fed forever. <laughs> you just see him salting a 500-pound fat shit, and he's like, I'm preserving it. This one's going to last right a while. She's packing it in salt. Yep. I'm eating Melton jerky. Why is it so chewy? It's 92% fat content. I can't help it. Oh, God. Could you Great imagine value. how bad Patrick Melton flesh would smell when you cook it because of all that burning fat? Stop. Oh. God damn it. You know how much soap you could make out of Patrick Melton? <laughs> But how clean can you really get with that but grease? While you're making the soap, you have to go, his name was Robert Paulson. His name was Robert Paulson. His name was Robert Paulson. <laughs> Fuck. This has almost been our whole overtime. Melton makes the uh, McGuire twins look like Auschwitz survivors, says <laughs> uh, Hobo Chili. Uh, Jericho says, uh, Patrick wants a liter of cola, not a goddamn large Farva. Oh, no, that's an insult to Farva. He's, he looks uh, tiny compared to him. Officer Krupke, Melton Shops, tuck-friendly clothes. Fat Rolls, tuck-friendly. D. Gulag says, Free Melton was my favorite movie as a kid. No, that was a whale. That was Free Willy. Why would you? <laughs> Dario Delfino says, Melton has another career as a Nintendo character having adventures in Dreamland. That's Kirby. Hey. Dare you. Uh, Farva says, It rubs the seasoning salt on its skin or else it gets the barbecue sauce again. <laughs> Erica Transpatrick, Melton smells like greasy cheese, chorizo, and garlic. Oh, God. 
Make hidden, it stop. Fi- hidden figures with a great Sopranos reference. Melton's spouse, Johnny Sack, is very offended. I'm just getting disgusted. Thank you, What's His Nuts, for renewing your membership. I appreciate oh, that. Shit. Thank Semper you. Reloaded says, I heard he called Nikocado Avocado a lightweight. <laughs> they probably weigh about Which the one's same. more mentally stable? Nikocado okay. Avocado because he's not delusional about who he is. I'd agree. I'd, so, I'd co-sign that notion. I'm going to say that. All the kids yes. in Africa could bathe for six generations off the man. <laughs> I think we're finding Stop. out that Patrick Melton is a lot more useful to the earth if he's melted down for parts than he is whole. <laughs> the sum of his parts are greater than the whole. Just Oh, just like an old broken down car. Sell him off for parts. Hobo That's Chili it. Recipe says men's warehouse has separate sections. Big and tall and Melton. <laughs> Well, you can't shop big and tall because nothing would fit those tiny little T-Rex arms. No, it got. doesn't make sense. You can't reach. Uh, I, my favorite song in the 80s, hmm. open the floor, uh, open the door, get on the floor. Everybody do the Melton. Everybody walk the Melton. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't take uh, Patrick Melton for a walk. Have you seen those stick legs? You take them for a roll. Oh, don't get caught going downhill, though, or you're going to have to jump like Mario and Donkey Kong. I heard a Weird Al did a song about him. It's actually just called Fat. Oh, that's well, that's he was gonna call it Melton, but he figured nobody would know. Good call, Al. <laughs> Dario Delfino says Melton needs to watch out. That crazy Captain Ahab guy is on the hunt for him. <laughs> Look out for Queequeg. <laughs> you sound like you're speaking tongues. Cocktiff says he'll be zooming in on foreheads tomorrow morning. Good luck, Fatso. Everybody knows that that's bothers the thing. you. The fucking forehead thing cannot bother me once I know what you've looked like. I mean. I got bad news Sorry, for you, buddy. Dude. My forehead is a lot smaller than your big ass titties. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Amen. Optic Nerve says uh, Melton's GPS locator is a seismograph. You know how you know you're getting close to Melton? The water in your glass ripples. Oh. <laughs> you just, yeah, you just see it jump. <laughs> All right, guys. Can we move on, please? This has gotten quite childish. Out of hand. Officer Krupke, his tailor is Omar the tent maker. You know what? I disavow this whole segment. It's just mean. All right. You know what? Uh, (laughs) Hobo Chili with the Sopranos reference. Did Melton get that 90-pound mole removed from his ass? (laughs) Hey, we need to finish that. We do. Uh, Johnny K says, for Halloween, Melton will be Kirby. All he needs is the sheet, the ability to suck up and swallow things he has already. Right. Uh, Melton looks like he just had a litter of pups. (laughs) You know what them titties be looking like? Oh, they are just just he probably and shirt off. He definitely looks like fat bastard. Oh, have you ever seen the Family Guy episode where the dog Brian has no hair anymore and he's just nipples and sagging <laughs> skin? That's what I picture. Hidden figure says King Leonidas held the Persians at Melton's ass crack. <laughs> yes, they call Melton's ass crack the uh, hot gates of Thermopylae. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, this is terrible. <laughs> I'm uh, Optic Nerve says, I love go to the chat overtime. You know, it is becoming it's a the very whole good thing. bit. It really has been the whole thing. It is becoming a very good bit. It's a hard one to pull yourself out of. Mayor Larry Vaughn says, they couldn't keep him down, not with three barrels in him. <laughs> you know, you're talking, yeah, it's a 1,300 pounder. You know, you know that in the, when you're in the water, Chief? You measure from the tip of his nose to his fat feet. <laughs> of course, we didn't know. Patrick's bomb mission had been so secret. No comedy gigs had been scheduled. <laughs> they didn't even list him for a comedian on his bio. <laughs> Melton is uh, toxic blood says Melton is so fat that when he walks, he has his own someone following him saying fee fi fo fum. Every time I walk, I trip on my turn. Um, yes. I heard that a video was sent to us from the future about uh, Melton's funeral. Oh, we have. Oh, wow. This is amazing. This is like some three eyed raven shit. Yeah, I know. It really is. Uh, this is amazing. So apparently we have a video from the future that was sent from a time traveler about uh, from Patrick Melton's funeral. Funeral. Uh <laughs> Here we go. Let's, it is, it's uh, strange that we could get this footage for you, but I didn't, oh my god! I, I didn't know he was a Viking, uh, but here here it is. This is uh, Patrick the Melton's Highway funeral. Division not only had a uh, whale of a problem on its hands, it had a stinking whale of a problem. <laughs> what? It that's no way to talk about a human being, sir. He looks so peaceful. <laughs> Should we zoom in on his forehead for old times' sake? It'll come at the camera in a little bit. Just wait. <laughs> Patrick Melton just looks so peaceful at his funeral. 
what to do. They really went backwards in fashion. It is good. People are showing up to view him. You know, look at that. People are going by to. You, Patrick Melton. A whale had washed up in Lane County. Nobody could remember how to get rid of one. Oh, guys, that's a human being we're talking about. We're not talking about getting rid of him. We're talking about a, a person here. All right, so this is how they sent off Patrick Melton at his funeral. Oh, they even had a countdown for him. Yeah, I know. Everybody cleared out. This it was the weird, end of the right? viewing. Ashes to ashes. This is dust how he wanted dust. it to go. Let's see. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They blew up Patrick Melton. Look at all that lard flying around. <laughs> Children are screaming. <laughs> Oh, him? my God, Patrick. Can you hear him just raining down upon us? That's just his belly just falling down on the ground. Oh, no. Our camera stopped rolling immediately after the blast. It was covered in goo and ectoplasm. I heard he caved in a car. Oh, no. The entire situation suddenly gave way to... The, um, the chunks of Melton you saw fall in there, that was nothing. Those were the size of uh, basketballs and Volkswagens. Uh, <laughs> the main chunk of uh, Patrick Melton is about the size of Texas, sir. <laughs> it's what we call a global back uh, global killer. Nothing would survive, not even bacteria. <laughs> oh no life was found. I want you to name it Melton after my wife, because it's a vicious, funny sucking bitch from which no humor can escape. To a run for survival as huge <laughs> chunks of whale blubber fell everywhere. Oh, that's not nice. His name is Patrick. His name was Patrick, and that's it. That's not whale blubber. That is terrible. I think we need to listen to PK Jr. after this about the back. Yes. Um, I th and fuck you and Fat Patrick's mother. I could make a, what is it? I could make a raft from his back blubber. <laughs> Sail to the long lost worlds on his back, brother. He could use a tree for a back scrubber. <laughs> All right. Dunes of meat passed high over our heads while others were falling at our feet. The dunes were rapidly evacuated. As Do you think even the chunks of him that fell down were obnoxious, try hard, and not funny? Yes, and those chunks still tried to zoom in on our foreheads. <laughs> I hate steel toe. <coughs> Escape both the falling debris and the overwhelming. Oh, look at that. Look Pieces at of melting car crushed cars. A mile from the blast site was the target of one you large You crushed car. a car. The passenger compartment literally smashed. No, in fairness, that's the car he drove there in. <laughs> Oh, guys, this, this has <laughs> this been mean. out of hand. I'm sweating. This has been mean-spirited. Oh. It's the best bit he's ever done, though. <laughs> yeah, really? Jew EC says, don't think that was Patrick. No visible leg ulcers. <laughs> Bed sores. Terrio says, whale blubber was Melton's SoundCloud rapper name. <laughs> Uh, Dario says Melton would have laid on the beach for weeks. It was the only way. Hidden figures. Melton's weight of the last decade was like Ireland's capital. Dublin. <laughs> Beautiful. Aww. Very good. Oh, that was really good. Oh, Optic Nerve saying they didn't blow him up. He just farted. <laughs> he wasn't even dead then. I mean, dead man walking, technically. <laughs> Farva says they tried cremation, but the fat oil burned for six months. Oh, <laughs> oh he's like a Tesla battery. He can put it out. <laughs> they had to bury him in sand. They, bury, they tried to bury him in sand. It didn't work. They buried him in lard, but he just ate it. Oh, my God. Do you know where else I've heard uh, of a mountain sighting? Where's that? Uh, beneath Yellowstone. I had no idea. The giant called They keep trying to find him in, in uh, Loch Ness in the UK, and they can never seem to find the guy. Don't go for a swim so long, Patrick. You're going to get wrinkles. Gino Bisconti says, every time you said, okay, here is Patrick, I start laughing <laughs> because I'm going to let you in on a little secret. It never is. Aren't you glad you tuned in tonight, Gino? Which I'm so excited to see him in a few days, aren't you? I am very excited. And Gino, and Gene, uh, thank you for your team being shitty and my team being Ugh. shitty. We're going to be sitting in premium seating for about Fucking a hundo. Right. And it's way more fun this way, like having two losing teams instead of yes. like one blowing the fuck out of everybody else. This well, is great. Phrasing. 